Hi guys, my name is Jeff. Welcome to Perfect Q Cooking Channel. Alrighty guys, for the Nissan place here, we've got the eight eggs that we're gonna be using today, two of which are going to be uh, for the egg wash. My neighbors gave me those eggs, thanks Cody and Danny. And then I've got flour that's gonna be used. You'll see at the uh, midway through why that's here. We've got a pound of Italian sausage. I've got some chives here. Uh, sometimes it calls for green onion tops. Well, there we go. Uh, panko, we're gonna be using panko today. And for the seasonings, rather than using salt and pepper, I'm gonna be using Saints and Sinners Signature Series barbe barbecue rub. And then he's got one that's called Sweet Heat. I haven't tried that one yet. We'll see how that goes today. Alrighty guys, so we've got our boiling water. I'm just gonna lower the eggs into it carefully. I think I'm gonna do one at a time, just to fear you definitely don't wanna crack them. Again, most of you guys have done this the first step, boiled water and put eggs in it. But yeah, definitely don't crack them. If you do, you obviously can't use it. Alrighty, so now that we got the six eggs in there, we're gonna go uh, four and a half minutes. Alrighty guys, so it's been four and a half minutes. I'm gonna turn the burner off and I'm gonna reach right in. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've got my uh, ice bath here. You wanna be careful yet because if you break these, that yolk is a little bit runny and it's not gonna make your Scottish eggs look really good. So anyway, I'm gonna put all these in there. As you can see, Either I did it or something happened. See how one of these is had cracked and broke open? That's not gonna work so well. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this okay. Uh, you wanna make sure your egg is obviously free of pieces of shell and dry. Have this thing break on us. So the plastic's used for the sausage part of it, I believe. Maybe this is even something you do. No, that doesn't work so well. Alrighty guys, I want to show you a major rookie mistake. You see that on the left called chives? I didn't chop it up and mix it with the meat. <laughs> a little late for that now. I think they'll be just fine, but huh. So no chives this time. I'll show you the next step in the next clip. Alrighty guys, so this is where if my wife was home, she'd be able to help me, but she's not. So I'm just showing you kind of what we're going to be doing here. We're actually going to do it in an assembly line fashion. You're not seeing the meat on this side, but as you can see, I did use the seasonings, Signature Series, and the Sweet Heat from Saints and Sinners Barbecue. They kind of look pretty good at this point. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one, then I'll finish up the four, and we'll go to the next step of actually cooking them. But what you do is you take the egg wrapped in your sausage, you go ahead and you lightly coat it in flour, okay? I'm hoping you can see that okay. Then you egg wash it. And again, be very careful, because remember, you have a, an egg that isn't completely uh, completely cooked in there. Get it nice and covered all around. Okay, and you should have a dry hand, a wet hand, and I'm gonna do that when I do the rest of the other three. And then you put it in the panko. Get it nice and coated. Look at that, almost looks like I knew what I was doing. Alrighty guys, that step is done. As you can see, I did break one. So, you know, if you want a solid four, maybe make sure you got six wrapped to this point. I don't know for sure. I'm just having fun, but this is uh, how they look now. We'll look at the good ones. 
And the next step, it will be uh, putting them in the oil. All right, you guys, so this is actually an 8 inch cast iron pan. I filled it uh, not quite halfway. Just use canola oil. And we're going to start that and have it heat up. And then when it's ready to go, we'll start putting eggs in there. All right, you guys, so I believe the oil is ready to go. I have it on uh, medium high. I'm going to turn it down just a bit. You hear that sizzle? I'm going to go ahead and put the three in that I've got that turned out. You guys can see what I'm doing here, hopefully. And let them go for a little bit, and then as they cook, you want to turn them a bit. I would have had room for four. But what I can show you why those are cooking, and like I said, about 10 minutes on this, is I might set that one in there, just see what happens with it. That way you guys will know, if you have one that bursts like that, what it's going to look like after it's cooked. Alright you guys, so what I did now, we're about four or five minutes in. Uh, I turned the heat down to medium, maybe even a bit lower than that. Oh, by the way, I did flip them around so both sides will get that even crispiness and color. This is the bad one, I'm calling it, with the one that I broke the yolk. But these three are, I think, going to be okay. See you in about five minutes. Alright you guys, just a couple more minutes left. Uh, as you can see, you don't, definitely don't want more than four in at a time, depending on what pan you use. Maybe you want to look at a deeper frying pan for this, but anyway, uh, they're looking really good, nice and golden brown. Here's the bad one. You can see the you know, spot on the side of it. I'll show it again when I take these out of the pan, but uh, I'm going to be pretty happy with these, I think. Again, very first time I did this. I, a lot of this is going to be first time for me, at least for a while. I, I, I just feel that it's a way to me challenge me and you guys as well. And you can jump into something like this and believe it or not, make something pretty awesome. See you, see you when I take these out. Alright you guys, here they are. I'm letting them cool off a bit. Um, you can see this one is the one that popped open, but it's still like a breakfast sausage. I mean, you got your sausage and egg, uh, that kind of thing. It's kind of an ugly one too, but I think the ones I did well on, this one here, these are a little warm, but this one here, uh, this one wasn't too bad. You can see I got a spot there. And then this one here. But anyway, there they are. I'm gonna let them cool off about 10 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and test one. The one, this one here is the, we'll call it the bad one. I'm only gonna get one take on this. So hopefully you see this okay. And here was another one that I thought ended up being good, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in front of you. Let's first of all start with the bad one, we'll call it. Now, this one, you can see how it kinda definitely didn't work. So that one again didn't turn out so great, but not terrible. So if you do break the yolk, I mean, you can still cook it. Let's hope then that this one's good. <laughs> I hope you guys can see that because that's what you want. See how that yolk is nice and runny? Uh, this side here, that still didn't turn out too bad for the one that I said was a bad one. So uh, let's let's try this. How did we do? Very flavorful. I will definitely do this again. And remember, this is the very first time I've ever done this. Again, even the bad one wasn't so terribly bad. Uh, I've got a couple more over here. They look kind of dark. Uh, maybe I'll have to experiment a bit as why that might be, or that's maybe how they're supposed to look. All right, guys, this is actually the next day. I'll make this as short as I can because the video's already been 10 minutes, probably a little long for everybody. This is this extra one that was from yesterday. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try heating it up in the air fryer just to see what, uh, what it does, but I'll make sure this is a quick one minute clip here. All right, so it's in the air fryer. Go ahead and get started, temp. Let's see, what did we have it at? 13 minutes, temp. I don't quite want it that warm. Maybe 350. We're gonna do it for about 10 minutes or so. 